Hey everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. Today it's going to be another game development uh, vlog or blog or whatever update. Uh, it's been more than a month since I've done my last one and hopefully this time around the music is going to be, the sound levels are going to be okay. Right, so let's just get into it. Let me just show you right off the bat how the game is look looking right now. I will have to, you know, be honest with everybody here and uh, just say that I definitely de did not have this, the, the same um, efficiency level as I had when I was streaming daily. I might have to get back into doing that just to raise my uh, my efficiency. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a hectic. August month it was really hot and you know being really hot isn't really okay if you don't have air conditioning which I currently don't so yeah I needed to do I probably should have like woken up very early in the morning and got my my coding and my streaming done then but you know that's just hindsight which is well, usually 2020 so last off I was saying that I was going to implement more stuff for the adventure map, more interaction with the NPCs, more interaction with mines and uh, castles and uh, stuff like that. And uh, let's go ahead and see how the game behaves right now. Let's make it full screen. So, uh, right, I did make this, uh, I don't know for what reason, but the animation stop when you currently launch the game. That's just probably a small bug. So I did make it so that uh, units, NPCs, which are outside of the field of view, stop being animated. So right now everything is animated on the screen, but if I go up, then the pool stops being animated. And then if I go up again, then this NPC will stop being animated. I also implemented the uh, idea of towns, as you can see over here, and their little flag. Uh, that's the little flag that this player currently has. So yeah, that, that works uh, quite well and well okay i forgot you need to select the uh, unit in order to do anything so let's go ahead and uh, go in the town nothing happens because this is your town and normally it should open the the town view and this is a, another separate town which as you can see doesn't belong to us let's all end our turn let's go ahead and siege it there we go we've sieged it and i don't know okay that's an interesting bug so i'll have to see why that uh, why that happens uh, it seems like sometimes the uh, movement arrows don't get deleted, uh, which is interesting to know. But yeah, anyway, so now this town is ours. If we try to go back into it, nothing happens because it is ours. And, and as you can see, the field of view, the line of sight doesn't go back to uh, covered with fog of war afterwards. Curious to know as to why sometimes that's that's a quite a new bug. But anyway, something that is also new is let's yeah, just go ahead because uh, for now I can't really do anything. Something that is also new is uh, getting uh, mines, so you can either capture or plunder. If you capture it, then it becomes yours. There you go. Sets your flag on there. It doesn't have yet field of view, its own field of view, just like the towns do probably going to have it soon and uh, also this works properly I, I might add yeah there we go and let me see here what else was new yeah basically I've added a bunch of, of, uh, of um, you know uh, options to the map interactables I did have to refactor a lot of the code because it wasn't made as it should have been from the beginning so i had to do a lot of refactorization which isn't a big issue but i am you know i'm trying to get this out as fast as possible but yeah uh not as easy as i thought i didn't i, I also did uh, add to the map objects a couple more stuff let me go ahead and show you guys let's close that off so if i go over here let's open the map creator and yeah so I did add the towns with the start positions, the town IDs. I had some bugs over there as well, whether, it, whether it's selected or not. I had to add the towns as separate town objects and stuff like that. So there was um, there was more, more, more than enough for me to do. I also got the idea that I need to have neutral start rules, 
which neutral uh, obviously um, there's players which own castles and armies on the on the map maybe even I don't know maybe even uh, mines I would say but then there's also the neutral uh, stuff like the NPCs and the um, um, well the NPCs won't be in here necessarily but they can be added in here as you know as specific rules and this will automatically be populated once uh, the map creator has been you know created and the map is saved properly but that's uh, in the future so that's also something that needs to be done what else has been going on so I've uh, basically um, went on a rampage looking for more people to join the team and right now we're up to I think almost six if I'm not mistaken I would say six yeah the idea is that I need as many as possible uh, people helping and if you by the way if you see this and you're talented in either uh, scripting or drawing which is actually more what I need right now I, I need art, artists and, and graphics designers um, feel free to just contact me either leave a comment or join my discord it's it should be in the link below and you can message me there and uh, we can maybe work something out the idea is that we need a bunch more graphics basically all that you see right now on the screen is going to go away this is the old graphics that I've had and I'm not going to be using these assets I need to uh, change them up with new ones and I've got I've got some new people on on them like um, I mean I've got one new person on on the graphics and then I've got a new person on uh, doing marketing and helping out with uh, spreading the word and you know uh, everything that is related to that um, obviously everybody is doing as much as they can in the amount of time that they have uh, per week free because this is a passion project for everybody nobody's getting paid better said and what else uh, yeah we've got our music composer who already started working on some of the things that we're we're going to need for the demo so that's also good and me myself I've also started working on making a uh, presentation website for the game because that is also obviously needed and I guess this month uh, we need to get that website done and we also need to see what the status is for the battle screen um, because you know that's also a big part of the game and we need to have we need to have a good understanding how that is going to work so I'll, I'll probably have to write a bit more design uh, which isn't bad I definitely want to do that as well but yeah um that's pretty much it for now this is going to be a shorter one because as i said august was uh, a bit of a weird month too hard to work but also too enjoyable to to work as well right so i, I went hiking a bunch of times and uh, stuff like that you know i needed a bit of a month off this year so to say maybe a whole well it wasn't the whole month but you know at least the weekends i was completely gone every weekend so there was that but yeah um thanks to everybody for watching and listening uh let's let me just get the sticky notes out so what i'm currently working on is i want to make a, an interaction like developing uh i want to get a interaction system done which uh shows you know when you left click and you right click on tiles it gives you options for interacting with those tiles and then i will probably want to add more um, events and actions for buildings and for npcs and uh, definitely i need to start uh, making or rather uh, designing finishing finish designing the adventure map and the captain's aspects so that i can make the screens for the uh, army like the army view screens and um, the uh, army you know uh, switching units between captains and captains between units screen and artifacts and all of that good stuff and i've got some very good ideas there it's just a matter of putting them down on paper and seeing if they work and how they work and then testing them out in this demo that i'm working on but yeah thanks to everybody again for watching and listening hopefully uh, you guys have enjoyed this please stay tuned as i will try to get back on a regular streaming schedule which means daily uh, 
probably minus weekends i'm going to see about that and yeah uh hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye